Hello fellow teammates, welcome back to the I and team. And in today's video, we'll be going over the agency locations. We're going to be showing you an aerial look of the agencies and their position on the map, let you know if there's any popular businesses or locations nearby, and lastly give you our pros and cons of each location so you can determine what's the best agency for your gaming style. Like the auto shops, purchasing any of these locations will grant you a 10 car garage with a personal shop to customize your vehicles. The agency's contract missions will take you all over the city, so the best location will really depend on your playing style and where you spend most of the time in the game. One thing that you may want to factor into your decision is the agency's main entrance and garage locations. All missions that require you to enter the agency for completion must be completed using either the front entrance or the garage, not the helipad. This requirement isn't based on your vehicle, so if your main mode of transportation is a helicopter, you might want to look for an agency with landing space around the base of the building. So to get started, you'll need to go to Dynasty 8 Executive, and then select the Agency category to filter out all other business types. As you can see, there are four agency locations to choose from, all in the city of Los Santos. So first up, we have the Vespucci Canals. Now this is one of the cheapest locations and will set you back a little over 2.1 million. This location's garage is hidden behind the building and has a mini parking lot attached to it. Perfect for a terabyte or MOC. However, there is a tall cement barrier on the right side you could bump into. Not a big problem, but something to think about. The main entrance is on the corner. You won't get any parking spaces, but the sidewalk's pretty wide. If you need a little more than a walk, you can pull up to this open section to the right of the entrance. This building is shorter than most of the other agency locations, which is actually a good thing as it allows you to land a little faster. There's no obstructions around the helipad. However, the entrance to the building is on the other side, which really isn't a problem because you automatically enter the agency when landing a helicopter on the helipad. And besides, you could just hop down anyway and walk right in. And of course, if you're using an oppressor like we are, you can just park right in front of the entrance. Now as far as nearby businesses and locations, there's a skate park next door. Down the block, there's a suburban clothing store and a medium cargo warehouse. CEO offices Lawn Bank and Mays Bank West are also about a block away, as well as one of the high-rise apartments. And the pier and an MC clubhouse is also a few blocks down. There's also a police station right across the street, so you might want to avoid firing rounds outside the agency if you pick this location. So to summarize, the Vespucci Agency is nicely positioned on the map with several businesses and shops nearby. The smaller size of the building and corner main entrance is great for quick entries, but the neighboring police station, backside garage, and the lack of parking spaces could be a deal breaker. The next location is Rockford Hills. This location is a little more expensive, costing you slightly above $2.4 million. This one has a side drive in the front of the building, but it's far from the main entrance, so you'll definitely get your steps in. You can land a helicopter in front of this entrance, but space is limited so this could be a task depending on its size. This location comes with this cool bridge overpass that connects it to the complex across the street, which actually houses the Richard Majestic Apartments. This is really convenient if you're the type of player that wants everything close by. This also would save tons of time if you have to transfer vehicles to different garages. Speaking of garages, this location is underground, which is a pretty neat addition could be useful when completing missions or as cover from other players if you're in a public lobby. Once you enter, you will see four garage doors. But don't get your hopes up because you can only enter the garage I'm about to stand in front of, which is on the far left side if you're facing the agency. Would have been nice to have the option to enter the agency through all four of these, but that's Rockstar for you. You can enter this garage from either end of the building. However, this entrance, or exit, has this oddly placed sign right in the middle, which ironically enough is doing exactly what it's telling you not to do. You have a clear access to the helipad. It's very minimal, two levels, not a lot of stairs or obstructions, but once again, the door is facing the opposite side. For nearby businesses and locations, you have another apartment, the Wazel Plaza. Richard Majestic Film Studio is also next door, and it's a block away from the golf course and an ammunition. This location is also a couple blocks down from the pier and the Lawn Bank and Mays Bank West CEO offices. The Rockford Hills Agency is a great location with tons of unique perks such as the underground garage and the bridge overpass, but the distance from the street to the main entrance and the lack of a designated ground level landing space for helicopters might be an issue for some. Next we have Little Soul. This location is the cheapest out of the four, costing slightly above $2 million. This location has a huge open plaza in front which prevents you from parking next to the entrance. So if you park on the street, you'll have lots of steps to go up to to enter this one. Landing a helicopter is possible, but we suggest using a smaller one as it will be easier to maneuver. We also suggest landing on the left side as there are several trees aligned on the right. There's also this hidden space underneath the plaza that you could drive your vehicle into. 
You still have to go up the stairs, of course, but your vehicle will at least be out of harm's way. Well, kind of. This space also holds a set of ATMs, in case, you know, you need to make a deposit or withdraw, you know, or something. This honestly is the first time we're using this. Not really practical since you can do this on your phone, but hey, it's there if you want to use it. There is a couple more on the right side of the building, and the garage is a couple feet down. There is also this neat alleyway that will take you back to the other side of the building. This is great as it prevents you from having to circle around the agency to get back to your garage. Now this building is the tallest out of the four locations, and it's also one of the tallest buildings in the area, which is good and bad. You'll definitely be able to spot this agency if you're coming in from the air, but this may increase your entry time due to the elevation needed for entry. This is also the only agency whose entrance is perfectly placed across from the helipad. This agency is the most central location, perfect if you have businesses all around the city. Down the block, there's a Vespucci Apartments. Right next to that, there's a gas station, which is pretty convenient for those tech entrepreneur payphone hits. In the same lot, there's a car wash and an ammunition at the end of the block. Dre's recording studio and the golf course is also a few blocks down. And as you can see in the background, the Arcadius and Maze Bank Tower CEO offices are also nearby. Little Soul is the best place agency with several surrounding businesses, but the inability to drive a vehicle up to the entrance, the side garage location, and the elevation needed to reach the helipad may be hard to ignore for some players. And now on to the Howick location, which is the one we chose. This is the most expensive location of the four, costing a little over $2.8 million. Howick is also the farthest north, and the only agency on the east side of the city, which understandably makes it the most attractive location to some players. There's tons of space to park a vehicle or land a helicopter in front of this location. We normally just land on this plot here and walk right in. This is the only agency whose main entrance and garage are right next to each other, which gives you quick and easy access to both without anything getting in the way. You also have this open courtyard behind the building. This may look familiar if you've done any bunker cell missions. Fly into the opening between the two buildings here and you will be at the agency's helipad, which sits directly in front of the entrance. This agency is on the smaller side, which is great for faster landings, but it's surrounded by taller buildings, which makes the helipad difficult to locate depending on the direction you're coming from. Side note, these buildings also impact the view from inside your agency. Howick is the closest agency to the casino. You can see it in the background there which is really nice, especially if the penthouse is your spawning location for the daily spin or if you like to gamble. There's also an ammunition a block down. In the opposite direction, you will see the Power Street Apartments, which is right next to a popular skate park, used in the co-founder payphone hits and in one of the Gerald's missions. There's also a tennis court, clothing store, and a barber shop nearby. The theater and tattoo shop is also a couple blocks down, as well as a nightclub and MC business location. The Howick Agency's main entrance and garage are perfectly placed. It's close to the highway and several businesses including the casino. However, its high price tag, surrounding buildings, and its popularity due to its location may steer players away. As mentioned earlier, the Agency's contract missions will take you all over the city, so the best location is really relative to your playing style and needs. Now we want to know your thoughts. Please let us know down in the comments what features you liked or didn't like about these four locations. Tell us what agency you ended up purchasing. And if you're switching locations, please let us know what caused you to switch. Thank you all for watching. If you felt this was helpful, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, feel free to check out more of our videos for additional tips. Thanks again, and until next time, teammates.